What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Brian. Get your fine with the infamous Mrs. Wallace, one of my favorite, if not my favorite client ever. And a lot of y'all been seeing the videos that we've been posting, well, that I've been posting of us working out. A lot of y'all been asking me, well, who is this lady running and keeping up with you and stuff like that? Well, she said it's okay for us to do a video, so I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hello, everyone. I am Alisa Wallace. Um, I live in Broussard. I am originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. Give it up for the 504. Yeah. Yes, that's me. <laughs> uh, I met Brian about a year ago. Technically, we had been in each other's presence, but mm -hmm. never really officially met. I saw him working out here with a group in the park one day. I was like, hmm, kind of interesting. So it kind of started there and I've been here ever since. I probably drive him crazy because I really want to work out seven days a week, but I'll take five, you know, give or take. Um, I just celebrated my 60th birthday. I'm very and excited about that. And um, had a great time that night. Um, I enjoy life. I love God. I love my family. Um, and I love working out. I want to be my best self as I get older. Um, and so I try I to encourage my friends and family to do the same. So we go get it every day after and I feel great. And I'm looking forward to um, even greater things, changes in my body. Um, less medication um, that I may need to take, hopefully getting rid of it altogether. So I've discontinued some things in my life to make some changes as far as food wise. And I've noticed the difference. So he's the man if you have any questions and if you're not sure, because I like sugar, but uh, I've really cut it out a lot. And we now. both got that weakness too. Cause I'm yeah. not about to sit here and act like I don't like me some pecan candy yeah, from time to time. Yeah, we can't help each other with praline. Look. We like, <laughs> nah, we, we can't do that. So what, so what would you say is, um, probably your most memorable moment from anything holistic or fitness that we've been doing so this far? Um, at this point, I would think it, um, to me, it's the weight training. I've noticed, um, because I was always kind of a little fearful of weights because of the fact that I've always had the preconceived notion that weights bulk you up. I didn't want to be bulked up. I already have big legs, so I didn't want to be walking around here look like a little he-man or something. <laughs> But um, that was my greatest fear, and that is so untrue. I've become stronger. Um, Way stronger. When I first started, my back, I, I would get these little, um, almost like spasms in my back. I don't even have those anymore. My back is much, much stronger. Um, I'm noticing stronger and just in my upper body completely. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that, and I'm just looking excited for the continued changes that my body is making. So the people want to know, because I'll be, I'll be posting it, they be trying to figure out how you do. Last time we did, we did was two miles. The last, the last two times we did two miles. How this like? How did you get to that point? How how are you able to run that long and actually do the work, the workout intensively the way you do it? It's mental. It's mental. When I tell you, my legs are like dying when we are running, <laughs> and I want to stop. And then when you say, "Come on, 30 more," say I was like, "Okay, I can do it. I just need. It's just a boost, and I know." I tell myself, you can do anything for X amount of minutes or X amount of reps. I can do it. I just have to tell myself that mentally. Mm -hmm. And she does it well, y'all. Like, even whenever we outside with the, like, we'll run the park with the dogs and stuff like that, too. And we'll be, whole, she, she's saying she's tired, but be having a full-blown conversation with me the whole time. <laughs> so she, she tired, y'all. But it, it is what it is. I feel you tired, y'all. I be tired. <laughs> so what's so... Out of, what would you say is the, at least holistic and nutrition-wise, what, what do you feel like is the, the most memorable thing that I've, that I've taught y'all that you've learned with me so far? Um, fasting, meal prep, definitely. Um, weighing my food, that is like my big thing right now that I'm into. I finally bought a food scale, <laughs> and I actually I'm about to <laughs> weigh my food, and it truly makes a difference. Um, the portions... It didn't seem like I was eating a lot, but when I weighed my food, I really was. Mm -hmm. I was eating more than I needed to eat. Um, the water and the juices have truly, truly helped me out even more. I've always um, drank water, that's not my issue, but um, just incorporating more juice because I wasn't eating, I know the proper amount of food, uh, fruit that I needed to eat, eat every day, but I'm a big veggie person, but fruit really kind of wasn't my thing. I had selective fruits that I liked, mm -hmm. but the juices, have truly made a difference. What's your ginger, favorite one? Oh my God. I think the ginger beet and apple juice. I think that's yeah. my favorite. I, I gotta, really, I really gotta, love it. You said that, what, what was that one again? That was at, not Ross's, Walmart? Um, yeah. I'm I at found the, that I'm at Walmart, in that drug emporium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I had, I had put on to, y'all know me, I like blueberry juice. And then recently we've been doing co the coconut water stuff I've been yes. telling you about. But she been putting me on to some stuff too. Cause I just gotta, I gotta go try that. I haven't tried that one yet. Cause I just yes. been making mine at my house with my juicer. 
Oh, I love it. Okay, so everybody know the positive stuff. What's the what's something you don't like about Coach Brian? What's something you don't like? Either workouts, nutrition. What's the thing like? Oh, I gotta do this. Or, oh, I gotta eat this. Like, what you don't like? Um, I love you, Coach Brian. <laughs> My She's least favorite sweet. exercise? Is that what you want to know? Anything, whatever comes to mind. Oh, when we have to do these step ups on this bench. With the weights. With the weights. With the <laughs> oh. Hey, but she he be killing I'm it. She's stronger than I Man, am. Man, you be killing it. Every time she be killing it. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll okay. be like, what, about four sets of 12, three sets of 15? And she'll have like, what you did, the 20s or the 35s the last time? The 20s. She had the 20s. And she was flying. And she was doing it well. And Because before that, when, you, when we first did them, she couldn't, I ain't gonna say she couldn't do it with the weights, but you know me, I'm a stickler for form. Like, if we, if you can't do the form right, if you don't have the mind-muscle connection, we're not putting no extra weight on it. And... You could say I was leaning. Yeah, you was a little <laughs> bit, but not, at this point, even though she don't like doing them, she'll pick that weight up and knock, knock out three sets and be good at it. Your leg, that's why I don't, I don't have to train her legs so often, because she came to me with some very in-shape legs, but you, you say you walk every, yeah, you do walk mm -hmm. every day, you walk every single day. But I can't walk after we do those. No, not at, not at all, not even me, because look, I'll be doing the workouts with her too, I'm not one of them trainers that just watch you, I'm going to work out with you, and look, we both had to recover from the last leg day. Oh, yeah. Especially, it was my, it's my hamstring, what it was for you? My quads. Mm-hmm. My quads were dying. Hmm, I'm trying to think of one more question, because I'm going to go back and cut and edit some of this stuff too. Mm, well, what's in, in the last one? I'll say that. What you want to end with? What you want to let the people? If you got if if this was your last time making a video with me, even though it's not gonna be, if it was your last time making a video with me, a message to the world, what would you tell people? What would be your last statement? I would encourage you to listen to this young man. He is a very young man, but he has the wisdom of a, a senior citizen. I'm just gonna put it like that. I'll take the discount. He's very wise. He studies. He. He is, he's knowledgeable because he studies. If you mention anything to him, if he is not sure about it, he will not stop until he finds the information. Yep. You gotta respect that. I respect him to the highest. If I come to him and mention anything about any problem that I may be encountering or something that I'm not sure about, my family and my friends, if I mention it to him, within the next few minutes, he's gonna send me something. I, he's gonna send me an article to read. He's gonna send me some herbs to look at. He will send something. He's gonna follow up in some kind of way and then consider and then continue to tell me, look, if you need more than that, let me know. I, I, you gotta respect that. And I really are truly, truly appreciate and love that about him. So she's trying to make he's me cry. He's diligent. I'm so diligent. Crying. I'm not crying. I'm you not are crying. so diligent. I'm not gonna I cry. tell you that all the time. Y'all, this is like. Trust him, y'all. I do trust him. This is the godmother I've always wanted. <laughs> oh, my little godson. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, this lady, and even, that's, that's one thing, and this will be my last remark before we shut it down. This, this is, it's a lot to me, it's a lot deeper than just nutrition and fitness when it comes down to it, because like, spiritually, the things that, I, that we talk about on the live and stuff like that, but like, the conversation that we have, y'all be surprised. This is the little text messages she'll send me that like, hey, I feel like you should pray about this or the little the inspirational quotes you'll be sending me with the verses and like how it'll impact my life or I ironically have to deal with it that well, that particular thing that same day or the following day. That's so God. it's good to keep people around that's you God. that's like, okay, yeah, we, now y'all know I'm real big on clan, like clanship, like just family and village and like she, she's, she's a living example of like, okay, when people come together with good intentions, love and actually trying to progress and move our families forward healthy, like in a healthy manner, then which you can't do, you know, but I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm, I'm thankful that you decided to say yes because this is not the last video we're going to do, but I'm thankful that you actually took the time out, out of our work because we was working out to knock all of this out and record this. Nichelle and Brian Sr., oh, you're done good. <laughs> and that's our Love time, you too, Kimmy. That's our time. We got to go. I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye.